down to the Gulf Coast itself, where people are still keeping an eye on Alex. If the storm does take that unlikely turn, head towards it. Could delay cleanup efforts by two weeks, but right now they're on target to stop the leak permanently by mid-August. Thanks to a relief well, our Jeffrey Kaufman had a rare chance to go out and visit the rig drilling that well and joins us with the latest from New Orleans. Jeffrey, good morning. Hey, Bill. Good morning. You know, what an extraordinary journey it was. Access to the spill site has been so restricted, it's been very hard for us to convey the scale of what is going on out there. It really is nothing less than a city at sea. As the chopper approaches from the air, you can't miss it. Those flames burning off oil and gas captured from the leaking well before it can escape into the Gulf. Take a look at those fireboats. It is so searingly hot that they never stop hosing down the piping. We landed nearby on a drill rig, Development Driller 2, or DD2. That's the Discoverer Enterprise, the main ship that is collecting oil from the bottom of the sea on that, with that containment cap. And that's the Q4000, that's the second one. And over here would be uh, the drill ship 3. This is one of the two massive floating rigs brought here to drill the relief wells that are meant to stop the leak for good. After they get the well killed with mud, then seamen will follow behind that and, and, and cement it up. Why are you so confident? Because we know what we're doing. The rigs are sitting in 5,000 feet of water. To get to the bottom of the blown out well, they have to drill 13,000 feet into the Earth's core. The rig we are on, DD2, has 6,000 feet to go. DD3, the other rig, began in early May, and it is less than 2,000 feet from its target. But it is now slow going. If they stay on course and if no storms come this way, they should kill the well by mid-August. Josh Simino is a BP performance engineer from Louisiana. What's it like wearing that patch now? I'm not going to stop wearing it just because some people in the world feel that BP is, is on bad times. Mitch Bullock, the well site leader, is from Mississippi. He has spent his life on rigs with BP. Uh, it just tears me up to see um, uh, BP in the position we're in. We're going to survive now, don't get me wrong, we're going to survive. Now this is nothing less than precision drilling. You know, what they're looking for 18,000 feet down is a hole about nine inches across, the size of a Frisbee. And the reason it's going to take another six or seven weeks to go that last 1,800 feet is that they have to drill 60 feet, pull the drill bit out, put a magnet down attached to a 16,000 foot wire, find the pipe of that broken well, get their bearings, drill ahead 60 feet, pull it out and keep going back and forth. And we have to emphasize that while they've drilled many relief wells before, they've never done it at this depth. 